And the thing I re remember the most about the earthquake itself was uh, after I walked out of the, um, uh, the Burger King, the uh, power poles and light poles on University Avenue were swaying because of the long period ground motion. And uh, you had no sense of when the earthquake ended because those poles continued to oscillate until uh, they finally you know, damped out. And the other thing that struck me was uh, some people were pretty emotional. There were uh, people crying uh, on University Avenue. Well, it was definitely exciting. Um, and then all the lights went out, and it was a little bit frightening because I didn't have a window, uh, and it was really dark in my office. But I was very proud of myself because I had put a flashlight in a drawer of my desk exactly for this reason, and I knew exactly where it was. Um, so I was able to find it. Yes, I was thinking professionally because it was, uh, it started out as, you know, fairly minor and I had felt minor earthquakes before and I was calculating in my head, okay, I feel the, the P wave and I should get an S wave soon and I wonder how far this is away. And that's one of the things I always do is that way, the difference in time, I can estimate roughly how far away is this earthquake. But then as it continued to grow, um, I started to think more on a personal basis, like, uh, am I going to survive this when I saw the doorway starting to flex? So, you know, right away we realized it was an earthquake and we didn't know where it was or how big it was, but, you know, we all thought it was in the six plus range. I was thinking the East Bay, but um, when we got um, back to the survey, um, Everybody was gathering on the South Lawn again, and, and uh, that's when the rumors started to come in that, um, or some information started to come in that there was real damage around the Bay Area. Well, actually, when, uh, when I felt the, the P wave come in and the house really moved, I knew, it was a, I knew it was a large earthquake. And from the direction of movement, I knew it had occurred to the south. I certainly didn't know what fault it was on. And then once on television, they began to show you know, damage from all around, and uh, suddenly hundreds of people were dead. Uh, the cypress structure had collapsed. Uh, fires were starting. They made it sound as if the entire area was destroyed. And that's what really went out to the rest of the world. That's what our parents in Florida heard. And so they were crazy. And we used that big old fat cell phone in the car to get through to our parents and say, hey, you know, we're good, we're all right. 